Despite these uh, stellar results this quarter, uh, we had a guest earlier, Andre Swanson of True Optic, who is very concerned that Netflix will not be able to keep this up in 100 different markets around the world, different languages, and continue to produce original content to sustain all of them. Would you agree? I don't think I would agree with that. I do think Netflix has challenges ahead, and they do include tailoring the content for some of the markets that they serve. Some of them are not English-speaking markets, and they've traditionally had more strength in English-speaking markets. So they do have uh, their work cut out for them. But I think that Netflix, with these results and with other great quarters, you know, excepting the previous quarter, they have really just knocked it out of the park and shut down a, a lot of the naysayers. And, and considering some of those challenges, I, I'm over, overall very optimistic about their future. Okay, that said, given all the rising streaming competitors, whether it's Disney or AT&T or Apple and, of course, Amazon and Hulu catching up, can Netflix sustain its lead? You know, how does the battlefield essentially change? Well, Netflix has been the leader in this space for a very long time, and companies like Amazon, like Hulu, and some of the other ones you mentioned have definitely ratcheted up competition, but they really have not come even close to catching Netflix in terms of its penetration, the number of shows it's producing, and its overall leadership in this space. Looking long term, it's possible that one of them catches Netflix, but in, in our forecast horizon, which goes out to 2022, we really just don't see that happening. We see Netflix continuing to be the leader, not just in the U.S., but globally in terms of number of subscribers. So I do have a chart here um, on my Bloomberg uh, from the top live blog where we're following Netflix results, which breaks down uh, international and U.S. subscribers. Um, where do you see the future growth then coming from? Well, the future growth will continue to be outside of the U.S. That's been the case really for several quarters on the, on the subscriber side and more lately on the revenue side as well. So that's really the focus for them. And the reason is pretty simple. In the U.S., I, w I won't say they're saturated, but they're getting closer to that ceiling of what the growth potential might be. But there are big markets outside the U.S. where they've, they've they're not nearly as far along the path of penetrating those markets. Certainly in Asia, India is a big focus for them. But even in Western Europe, where they have quite a bit of strength, there are big markets like Germany where they're not, they, they, they still have quite a bit of room to grow. And then there's Latin America where they've made lots of inroads, but there's some big populations in those countries that I think they still have a lot of uh, uh, ramping up to do.